Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Insurmountable. We are on the second mountain with... Hold up. <laughs> are we... Wait. Are we the adventurer? We shouldn't be. We should be the, uh, we should be the journalist. We'll, we'll see when we get in. That might just be a UI thing. Uh, but we've got a damaged ankle, and we are on to the next mountain. Oh, my goodness. What do we want to go for? We have a good ability to... Um, Basically, ignore... Oh, boy. Oxygen is going to be slightly tough for us. Energy costs, not too great. Warm nights. I mean, we are a night owl. That could be interesting. Uh, there is also... Minus energy cost on stone or snow. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Very severe storms. I feel like we could probably do better with the heavy blizzard than the heavy storms because we have a lot of ways to regain heat. Um, very rough terrain. Very rough terrain or very thin air. I don't want to go with the thin air. But, dang, man. This is, this is certainly challenging. Because uh, I, I think that this would mean that that's like all the time starting literally immediately that's really challenging but we don't have good ways to regain to uh energy we don't have any tents none of that i think we just have to just rock it though no pun intended all right so okay are we actually the we are actually the okay good the second summit looms above you dark and threatening you hear rumbling in the distance but the mountains attempts to scare you off only fuel your desire to scale the summit and discover its secrets we are Oh, come on. You're doing this to me right away? Like, immediately? Just immediately? Oh, it's super far away. Okay. Oh, boy, howdy. So there is a cave right here. Can we get to it like that? How does that look? That's not too bad. All right. So let's take a look at our equipment again here. We have... We have the gloves. But we also have minus energy cost gloves. Which seems like maybe a better uh, a better tool for the job here. We also have a million different ways to uh, switch our shoes. Just like a, just a metric booty load. Let's actually stop right here. Uh, I won't min-max the whole episode here with this. But since this is such a, a large hike up here for us, I think it might be worth it. You can get sanity or warmth. Um... Here's the thing, like, we are gaining warmth and losing sanity, so, like, it might be in our best interest to not do that, but, eh. Like, maybe we should go for the thing that, you know, we're actually losing. Uh, and when it comes to nighttime, we might even still be gaining heat. Stand in front of a fish, you're completely befuddled. It's a full of empty cans, torn clothing, other junk, a sharp stench fills your nostrils. Someone has left a pile of garbage here. Fine. You hold your breath and you rummage through the garbage. There's human excrement mixed in here. You gag as you pull a half decayed head out of a of a goat out of the pile. No, someone must have decapitated the poor creature. You grit your teeth. Finally, find an old backpack full of equipment. You're in luck. The equipment is still intact. We lose a very small amount of oxygen. Okay, well, there's no reason to keep the minus 20 cost ones on. Might as well just leave them here. Literally, there. I cannot think of a single reason why we would desire that. Uh, but up we shall go. We'll gain our ax- uh, oxygen. Our oxygen. Our oxygen back up. But we've gained extra experience at nighttime, so if there's any events here, we will take it. A hundred percent. So we got a level up. We got a little bit of sanity. We shall lie down and sleep, even though I don't- I don't, like, really want to sleep through the night. Should we kind of- should we kind of spicy and just say no? No, no, I don't want to sleep. Nah, we'll, we'll go for it. The thing is, we do we want to keep moving a little bit because I can only um like only assume after this clear day we are actually gonna hit a uh, a rougher one. Uh, reduced energy cost on ice, fifty percent reduced. Gain oxygen when moving on snow. Huh? Sanity gain in events. Lose energy for body temp. 
not too big on that. It's a, I, I know it's an in the night climber tree, but I just it's not really a night not really a night skill, is it? Lose just a really large amount of energy just for uh, for a good chunk of heat. That it's a lot of heat, I'm not going to deny. But we don't have good ways to restore energy right now. Uh, so that's why I think that reduced energy cost on ice is probably going to be much better than anything else we get here. All right, if we, if we click here, where's the best way? It, it wants us to go that way. Is it really that big of a deal if we go down here? Sanity will become an issue. We do have the moon herbs. I don't know, man. Let's do it. We have the ability to use single-minded if we do get a... Oh! It's, there's another weather there. Wait, what? Your stomach rumbles, your guts suddenly start to cramp. You just managed to pull your pants down in time to empty your bowels. What? I... I'll stop to rest you. Lie double over in the snow. You can't think about the... Pile of garbage and it's horrible stench. Maybe you caught something in there. Is that even possible in these temperatures? You have no idea, but you do know that removing your mountaineer gear always takes a certain amount of time. And that bout of diarrhea, that bout of diarrhea won't necessarily grant you. Uh, wait. Okay. Well, maybe we should have used the herb. I, I guess I didn't, uh... Hmm. Okay. I was not expecting that. Stand under the skeleton of an old tree. Its exposed roots form a hollow that seems to lead deep into the earth. Someone set traps in front of it. Maybe they hid something in the hole. Let's disarm. You use a thick branch to trigger the mechanism, making it safe for you reaching the hollow of the tree's roots. You pull out a crate, but it turns out to be empty. How disappointing. All right. How much do we really want to be passing the time here? Step into the darkness. We get some experience. That one is pretty much just a no-brainer there. Let's literally, like, let's just sleep until nighttime here. We'll, we'll get our energy up to max. We're not losing any sanity. You know, we're, uh, we're all good. We are a nighttime boy. All right. So. Probably there. I don't know at what point we should use single-minded here. Because uh, none of the terrain effects are really that bad. Do we have the correct thing on? We do. And we certainly don't need the fur gloves right now. We are we are not facing any situation where we're actually losing out on uh, on heat. We're at a, a perfect hundo. Obviously, we're at a perfect hundred for oxygen as well, and we will be until I don't know here. All those events that make you lose a little bit of oxygen—they're not that big of a deal. Oh, boy. You come across a corrugated metal shipping container covered in rust. Maybe the occupiers use it as a storage facility. Let's go for it. Your search pays off. You find some valuable equipment. Nice. Just better. Just a better pair of the shoes I have. That's so That's so worth it. That is absolutely worth it. Your soft squeaking coming from somewhere. You find a mountain hare. No! I helped the hare with the herb. You <laughs> proffer a handful of herbs... The terrified animal, which it nibbles eagerly. Its trembling eases, allowing you to inspect its hind legs broken. You make a splint out of a branch and bind it to the injured leg. Oh, the hare doesn't stand much of a chance of surviving, but it has much more hope. I'm saying, I, I'm adding this. Much, much, much more hope than it used to. There we go. All right, you better... You better not break my freaking heart in the future with that event. All right, we'll head for that. Okay, we do have cold weather coming up. Uh, is this the path that we picked uh, with the yeah heavy blizzard? It's you know it's fine. It's fine. We can I think we can work with it. I just realized we're gonna need to go back down and up. It's not the best idea going out of the way up like this. How far have we come? Not very. Not very at all. We've been hitting uh, as many events as we can basically find. 
He mined a wall of rock. You discovered a snowed in shack. It looks abandoned. You must have stumbled across a guard post of former occupiers. Unpleasant smell in the air. You cannot pinpoint its source. Beneath a folding cot, you discover a thick clump of fur with torn out pages next to it. You're about to take a closer look when you hear a snarl from outside. Uh, let's look at the pages. They're hand-drawn sketches of cougars. They show animals in a natural habitat. Uh oh, boy. Suddenly you hear a snarl closer this time. A cougar here can't be, or can it? I feel like we keep staying. You're in luck. You find some useful items in the locker. Suddenly the smell hits your nose again stronger this time without looking back. You knock the locker over and run for it. You stumble it and hurt your foot, but you pick yourself up. Leap out the door. Oh my god, look at all this. What the hell is happening? You leap out the door, barricade it closed. You heal wi hear wild snarling inside. Best move on quickly. Oh, baby. Uh, Just a much better version of the tool I have. Huge time cost buff. Uh, In addition to canned food and an herb, that is so worth it. Uh, hold on. Just want to make sure. This is the same exact thing, right? Yeah, same same exact thing. We don't care about that. Warm up again. Do we need to pick this to, to like, get the next thing? Increase your maximum body temp. Gain body temp on stone. Spend more time when moving, but ignores dangerous terrain. It doesn't seem bad. I feel like max body temp will work really well for us since we have a pretty decent ability to recuperate, you know, pretty decent ability to recuperate ourselves. Uh, oh boy. Where to? I don't know if I want to hit this or not. That's it's pretty it's it's off the beaten path for sure. Also, apparently we have to go down here. This seems stupid. Seems like a, a dumb dumb path for me to take, but I will do it anyways. What else am I supposed to do? We have so many really good supplies right now though. Such a good set of supplies. Okay. We've got a supply trove over there. Looks very tempting. Let's do it. Okay. We have a couple hazardous spots. We can't ignore them. We can ignore critical events. These are not critical events. You know... That doesn't count. It's a temporary debuff. It doesn't count as a uh, terrain effect. I, I can't imagine. Well, this is going to be a little sucky, but what are, what are you going to do? Find a cave would be probably the number one strategy here. Find a cave and sleep it off. All right. Thin wisp of smoke rises up in the sky in front of you. Turn the corner of the wall of a cliff to discover campfire flames already licking the sides of the cans placed around it. Collect snow to put out the fire. Stamp the fire to put it out. I don't know why I'm collecting the snow to, to put it out, but... Oh, the can I see it. Your fingers feel numb, but you gather enough snow to extinguish the flames because of the the, cl the, the clans. The cans on the side. I see. I thought... For some reason, I in my head, I was like, oh, they're empty. After searching the area to make sure the owner's not stuck in a nearby crevasse... Crevasse! You uh, take the cans and move on. Beautiful. Well, you said cans, plural, and I see one here. Uh, you hold out on me, game. What does this look like? Shockingly not too bad. How long does this last? Six hours. It's pretty good. Massive cooldown. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's pretty good. 
I'm I'm going. I know that this looks stupid. It's it's so that I can. Considering we have the fifty percent penalty here, this is a crazy good amount of energy gain. Uh, I just wanted to get experience. He's reached a small plateau where steep rock walls provide natural protection, and from the icy wind, a good place to take a break. Long extinguished fire suggests you're not the first to rest here. Other mountaineers have sat before you to recover from their exertions. You wonder who they were, what they were doing here. In a gap between two rocks, you find some empty cans of beans. <laughs> Oh, I, I can't. I can't. Thank you for the oxygen tank. That's super helpful. Super, 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 super helpful. Okay, this was very worth it. All right, we're about to hit the cold weather situation. It's not worth min maxing this here. How much are we losing? Okay. Oh shoot! I meant to put on my ah, oh, meant to put on my uh, warm gloves. Oh well. Uh, I think we do want to sleep through most of it, right? Can't use her ability now. Oh, okay. I'm going to do this against my better judgment. Because we can uh, switch this out and see how it goes. We do have the hot tea. Is there another potential cave nearby? Oh, boy. Yeah, we don't have we don't have good uh, good visuals here. If we care more about temp, we need to go quicker. Can't walk on that. Oh, this sucks. Oh, what am I doing? I should use my ability at the very least. Um, so yeah, we should be regaining heat now. If we're gaining heat, I guess we can be a little bit more, a little bit more stingy with our movement with how quickly we are traversing upwards. There, uh, six hours. I mean, we got we got a good old chunk of time. Tomorrow is a clear day. We should get back to gaining our temps. Which is great. This cave there. Promising. Is that worth it? All right. We'll switch to our ice booties. <laughs> well, now we know it's a 50-50. <laughs> oh, God. I'm such a dummy. I, I just, I, I kind of want to eat. I kind of want to make it a point to actually eat every single 50-year-old can of beans now. I feel like the ratio is probably like really, really bad. The the success ratio is probably like really terrible. But it's certainly not zero. And we got here's the thing. We took an HP penalty, which is bad. However, we did at the very least um uh we got a a good chump of chunk chump of experience. Oh my god. Alright, fine. Gather the herbs. Gives us experience and an herb, which we can definitely find a way to utilize. But boy, I really do not like that we are losing sanity out of that mix. Uh, that's too much. All right. I think we're going to want to use our can. Oh, we're actually much closer to the top than I thought. That's not the top, but... Is it, wait, no. Yeah, no, it's not. Wow. 
What does it look like if we... How long until... Okay, so our, our, our thing's gone. Our, our debuff is gone already. We have the warm gloves on. We do. I think this is actually in our best interest. We will... Uh, yes, we'll be at critical, but we... We'll just... Um, immediately drink the hot tea, I guess. So things are back to normal. Oh, boy. We'll use a little bit less energy here, I'd say. It's probably going to be a good call. Yeah, we're still we're still gaining heat, so it's worth it. It is worth it. Thirty percent. I mean, uh, I can't, I can't not. It's thirty percent now. Like these these things are are pretty substantial. I just wish that we, I could right click and it could be, so it could be quicker. Oh my god, this is, this is, gonna be ridiculous. Okay, just some free experience. Do a big long sleep. That I we got to remember that that is restoring uh, more than it seems. Also, are we wearing our? I ah, I need to make sure we have our gloves on before we sleep. I can't I can't change it once we get to the t uh the the caves. Such a bummer. Wow. I mean, we could. What's the alternative? The alternative is going up this way using Ice Mastery, which actually I think might be a good call. I think it's a good call. Just don't see any um penalties right now that are really that big of a deal. Man, look at that. Absolute ice master. Single minded ice master. Alright, we're definitely gonna head there. Last for three extra hours. How long is that going to take? Four, four hours just to get to that. All right. Well, Ice Master is logged off. <laughs> I guess, right? So just take this, switch back, boop, bop, boop, bop, bing, bang, boom. Thoroughly search the tents. We could. A couple of empty box, a box, bottle, oxygen tanks. You could take the time to search the tents. I'm going to do a quick search. Whoa! What the hell, man? We have too much now. Okay, I hope we get an event where we can sacrifice it for something. Gain sanity back while moving on ice. Take time to regain sanity. These are not things that I really care too much about. This is so niche. And 20% is not that much for how niche this is. This is pretty niche too, but I'm probably going to be going out of my way to walk on ice. And then I also don't have to think. I just, you know, I don't have to think about it. I'll probably be going out of my way to walk on ice. There's a lot of ice here. Some energy back. All right. Uh, ba -ba 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 what does it look like to go there? Not great. Not great. But I think I'm gonna do it. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold, on. hold up. It's been a while since we've seen the straight shot. Okay. Um. 
Option B. That's actually that's actually not too bad. Got another clear day ahead. Uh, I think when we get to this cave... No, I don't think we're going to be in the death zone yet. So we're going to want to make sure we tent like crazy. Man, we... <laughs> Also, it doesn't matter if we use oxygen. Like, we are so fine for oxygen. It's crazy. So unbelievably unbothered by the oxygen situation. Oof, that's a, that's a hike there. Absolutely. Tomorrow we have a, a rough weather day for energy. Woof. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Take me up. Discovered a bird's nest. Extremely unusual, unusual at this altitude. You find some herbs in the nest. I, here's the thing. I don't want to lose HP right now. I'm not going to do that until we, um. Oh. I'm not going to do it until we have a situation where we really, really need it. What's this? Oh, it's the, uh, death zone. That's fine. Again, I I am so unbelievably stacked for oxygen. Though I don't want to just like... That sucks. I don't want to just like toss it. Oh, no, that was just an actual legit danger event. I don't want to just toss it. Also, we can use this to like walk around at zero of a stat for six hours. So that's important to think about, too. That ice? That's not ice. But boy, it is so many events. Is this not ice? This is ice, isn't it? Glacier. Glacier doesn't, uh, glacier doesn't count as ice, does it? Does it? This is all snow, so we're pretty much uh, pretty much out of luck on doing this optimally anyways. But I think that this stuff is all worth it. I think we will also hit the danger zone. As soon as we do that, or sorry, the death zone. Oh, going down. <laughs> as soon as we do that, I guess um, we'll probably get a buff like we usually do. Counter common mountain goat. It's nibbling on some herbs. I it gives a friendly bleat and shares its herbs with you. I shouldn't have done it. I should not have done it. That's a terrible trade for me. But I can't not. He's such a sweetie, I can't. Energy cost, take it slow, less oxygen. I certainly don't care about that. Uh, eight hours of moving faster, or moving more effectively. I'm going to mend my wounds then, because we are about to go to sleep. And we are going to literally sleep off that entire buff. Um... I gotta. That should get us right here. Follow the light. Return to the cave entrance. Always. You know we got it. Alright, yes. Again, I don't care about oxygen in the slightest. And again, we have 140 body max body temp and energy now. I don't think we've reached max body temp a single time here. Alright. One track mine this. 
I'm pretty sure. Let's go. Who boy. Spooky. But are we gonna how long is it gonna last here? Is it already gone? No. Two more hours of single mindedness. Beautiful. You once again encounter the goat, San Juan Rock, using the intent to point to trying to warn you. All right, so we get a little bit of experience. I mean, I, I can't imagine that going a different way. <sighs> so I don't love the idea of this because of the energy. We do have one track mined for on the way down. I don't care about the oxygen. I do not. I actually am happy about spending the time. Oh, beautiful. That's nice. We take those. We take those. Only spend these resources when we really need them, though. What does it look like for us to do this? Ho, 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 God. It is quite literally an option. Is there no cave? There's a cave there. Can we make it there? We can. And we traverse through this here. Might as well put our stone boots on if they're not. All right. All this time, we are still gaining heat. Uh, this looks like a, a rough thing because it looks like a blizzard. But it's not. Oh, search for the rest of the body. boy. I, again, I don't care about the oxygen. Sanity is a little bit... I, I don't love it. We have so many, but we lose actual HP. The heat, I can deal with it. Let's go for it. It's more likely that we'll be out of the weather the weather problem. You dig around the snow looking for the body parts or anything that provides a clue. Nothing. Maybe a wild animal found the hand drag. You hear spots and catch the light. It's a dull blade. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Okay, if we could do that, we can. And then we go up. Could we do this and then that and then that? We can? Wow, before the end of nighttime. I think we do that. We get the most amount of experience. I think we'll level up. We'll level up uh, by maybe by this thing or maybe the event in the cave if it exists. It's a little, it's a little silly. But if there might be a way where we can uh, exert time, half buried in the ground, ah, weathered stone plaque. Yeah, we can't do anything. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. This is a little silly, but we might be able to um, waste some time. Sanity or warmth. We are about to enter a uh, a rough time for temp, but we do have single-minded. It's not a lot of sanity. All right. We'll be able to sleep, and by the time we're done... Uh-oh. Oh, you... <gasps> Whoa! My God! Okay. All right. So now we uh, we will want to... Okay, I did not expect that. We'll want to use a couple things to obviously get some free space here. You can't?
This sucks. Um, okay. We can toss one. We can toss one of those. That's not too big of a deal. That's a that's actually not that big of a problem. That's so nice. The body temp issue is a problem. But we'll be able to uh, one-track mine and we can put on our gloves. One with the snow. Oxygen on slow. Snow. <laughs> Bonus body temp while moving. Let's do it. We can definitely uh, pop one of the oxygens. What does this look like? Hmm. We are almost at the summit, though. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. As bad as the stats look, like our equipment and our experience level, we are we are stacked. Oh man. Did you just man slumped up against the rock face? He does not stir as you approach. As you get closer, you notice his right hand is missing, his stump is bandaged. I I will spend the time to bury you. Drag the stranger's body to a little depression in the rock, just as you're ready to cover, uh, begin covering rocks. His legs start to twitch. Started to jump back. Could he be alive? After a few seconds, switching subsides. Post mortem mortem muscle spasms. You sigh in relief. Your heart's still pounding. As you resume burying him, you notice some equipment has fallen out of his pocket. It is much more warm gloves. It's super worth it. All right. Uh, we got single-minded here. Put this bad boy on for now. Can we get away with it? If we got single-minded, we're not going to take the penalty from this anyways. The, uh, the penalty of being at no energy. So as long as this is at 2.4, it actually doesn't matter that we are... Or as, as long as this is above zero. It doesn't matter that there's a penalty. Oh my god, a flask. Let's go. Alright, well, we'll want to stop. Wait, what? Oh, it's the wrong ability. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm thinking... I'm thinking of, um... I'm thinking of an ability we had at the end of last run. This is actually, um... This is actually a good trade for us, though. I would I would make that choice on purpose. So, uh, neat. That actually, yeah, that actually worked really well for us. We have a couple therm thermi. Thermopus. We can uh, we can use this stuff. I mean, I guess. It... Oh my God, it's another freaking corpse. Free the corpse from the eye. Camera camera. Face face with hair eyes staring at you. You breathe in sharply. The eyes are those of a woman who's completely frozen. The eyes, her face, and the top of her torso exposed. We don't have space for stuff. Young woman, looking in your eyes, feel like sinking into a bottomless lake, which is what happened to her. And why does she show no signs of decay? Shake off these thoughts to feel a small pouch. A small pouch that has an entire tent in it. Um, I find it unlikely to be a good idea that we trash all this. If we did, what would it be? It would be, it would be this. That might, that honestly, that's my, that might be worth it. Because we're, that might be worth it. I just, I don't like that this does reduce our health, you know? 
Option B is ditching. Look at ditch. I don't think we should ditch that. It's it's really effective for right now. Uh, I really wish we. Wait, why can we use that now? Why can we now use that? What the heck? I thought we couldn't do that in events. What? I got. I just got lied to. It was like you can't do that in events. By the way, you should do this in an event. Uh, let's get our warm gloves on for now. Helps us out a bit more. Beep bop boop. Bop. Hit zero at the summit. Why not? Why not? Maybe maybe there'll be some kind of special event at the top. Who knows? Uh, otherwise, we will just we'll just use our thermos as soon as we get to the top. Nothing nothing wrong with that idea. All right, second mountain scaled. Felt kind of scary for like a very small bit, but we are we are unbelievably stacked uh, for stuff. Stand on the summit and uh, take a few steps. Ground seems to be strange here. Foundations? Are you hallucinating? Has fluid seeped into your brain tissue? At this altitude, anything is possible. You scrape the ice away. Incredible. Concrete something was supposed to be built here, but was never finished. A concrete. <laughs> I thought it was like concrete evidence. Concrete evidence. But it's just concrete. <laughs> concrete. It's concrete. I built my house with a foundation of concrete. You feel the sting of the icy air hitting your lungs and you draw a breath. The island sprawls out before you, mysterious and surreal. What happened here? You feel as though this is quite literally just the tip of the iceberg. So many places, uh, police, 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 police places. So many pieces of the puzzle just don't seem to fit. But you are determined to scale the third and final summit and finally figure out the big picture. Once you find a place to rest, that is. I am so glad we hit the peak during nighttime. We got to remember that, well... There's no more peak to hit, I guess. Ideally, I guess if we uh, we should try and hit the um hit that at nighttime cuz the experience gain is in theory quite big, quite big. All right, there's the one thermos. What is that down there? That's an uh, event of some kind. Still hits us. It runs out on that. So what if we... Eh. Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. Well, you know what? This is going to be a puzzle for us to solve in the next episode here. Uh, we got to head out. But alas, a successful climb. And in theory, this should be a not too shabby decline as well before we tackle the final mountain. We'll probably, in theory, I assume we will get down and we will begin to tackle. Maybe we will finish the final mountain for this character on normal in the next episode we will see but this has been a beefy chunky powerful run uh, as far as like our our level ups and our stats go this this night owl bonus bonus experience at night situation uh, we've been able to abuse it to uh, pretty strong means i'd say so i'm excited to see where we can take this run but for now thank you for watching if you want more insurmountable you got to make sure you like you got to make sure you comment and hey if you're feeling feisty Share the series with a friend who you think might be interested in a mountain climbing roguelike who maybe will get a kick out of this. Share it to anybody who you think might be uh, might be interested, who also maybe, you know, someday might share it, because uh, that'd be fantastic. I love this game. I'd love to play more of it, but only if a decent percentage of my viewers want to see it. That's just how it goes. That's just, it, it's not shallow, it's just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make y'all happy. I'm trying to make the highest percentage of people happy on my channel. So, the views do matter for that. Quite literally tells me how many people want to watch it. Uh, that's just, that's just the truth of what it is. So, if more, you want to share it with some people, that might help a lot. I would love to play more. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Bye.